Styles, where we post it every Friday. See them corner emojis, then you know it's wild. I'm a Jada Gemini to the day I die, and I'ma talk my sh but I don't play both sides. So nah. Everybody going viral these days, y'all. I want to go viral. Everybody going viral <laughs> these days. What's up, y'all? It's your favorite couple back at it again with a win. Yeah. Um. Today <laughs> we are talking about the Home Depot girl that has apparently I wouldn't say broke the internet, more like broke Twitter for a little bit because um this is crazy and it just shows you the power of the internet and how unhinged some internet dwellers can be on that platform and it's just a lot with it's the think pieces it, all the think pieces right that people made from this <laughs> the celebrity guest appearances <laughs> see the cure my brother is ca it's carrots my oh brother my Carrots and thyme, my brother. Time. Well, here is the Home Depot girl. This is Home Depot girl. She gave us two thyme. looks. We got glasses. We got, you know, turtleneck hair. She gonna show me where the uh, the okay. tap and die right. is. Like, <laughs> I need a tap and die. That. Like, that's that's her. That's your girl. She gonna show me where the paint is. I guess so. That's so, what's up. Here is, I don't know the original, I don't know if this is the original tweet or not, but this one has a lot of comments on it because I just want you guys to see the general response to this post. It went freaking viral and everybody's just so amazed at how like, I, get, I don't know. One half people are like, oh my gosh, she's too cute to be at Home Depot. And then another half is like, good for you for being cute but working at home depot like it's really confusing like you said the think pieces i'm really confused i don't know if it's misogynistic it, if it's I just know, it's, uh, like, it's it's borderline when people view beauty as like wealth nowadays is it it's almost like uh uh it's it's very hard to describe it but I, I like do think it's shallow. Your, your, uh, yeah, I do think it's shallow. I was going to say like classes, damn near, when people view that as that. But it's like, it's not that. My thing it's is, shallow. It's like, why is everybody projecting all this stuff on this girl? It's like, <laughs> damn. Can't have a job, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't, can't have post a, a selfie and think you look cute. And then you like, who hasn't, bro, all my girls out there, who has not posted a work selfie or took a work selfie where you thought you looked cute in your uniform? Like, this sh they should not have did all of this. Is it the fact that it's Home Depot? I don't understand. Now, in everybody's defense, though, the Alex from Target, it was the same thing. Alex it's from like, bro, hey, yeah. let this dog, let dude live, man. Let him work. Now, let hey, one day work. you you showing somebody where the electronics section is. The next day you want Ellen Degenerate. Yep, you, going you just, on tour. What does it kill you, bitch? Right. Like, look, breaking news. A woman gets a real job. Water's wet. Come on, no one care. To sell booty. I'm the thickest, I'm the thickest 18-year-old on this <laughs> app, for real. Women get grace for everything. Wow. Living life on easy mode. Twitter for the win, huh? Wow. Just, what else she is there? She won't be working there much longer. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I saw that sentiment going around, too, of, like, Girl, you're cute. Like you should be on OnlyFans, y'all. Damn, we, not like, YouTube. But thank not you. Thank you can't you. even make a TikTok. Thank you. Like, can we come back to Earth Damn. for a second? Like, hmm. guys, you didn't tell this girl you should model. You should. You should do TikTok. How about if I were you? YouTube. If I were you, you went straight to S work. Like, that's not something that just. Anybody like social media has really brainwashed a lot of people on that app, bro. Like, that's not just something the average person can just do. Like, that's a hard job, bro. You don't just it is, bro. And you got to pay taxes, even if you want to be a three o four man. In that way, mm. you got to pay your taxes, bro. They said she won't have a job there at the rate the internet is going, and it's sad. I mean, they're not lying. All you got to do to become famous on Twitter is to be a woman with a regular nine to five. 
I see the projection you were talking about earlier, though. No, yeah, it's, it's like all crash. she did was post a freaking picture. Hell, dog. Like, damn. It's really everybody else running with uh, the narrative. So then it makes the freaking news, bro. Because Shaquille <laughs> O'Neal, old nasty behind, old behind, mm-hmm. is looking for her. He looking for her. Bruh. He sound like the dude that we were just the, the booty. I like you and, and I, I want, want you. you. Like you looking for her. Do this the easy way or the hard way. And then please don't think I'm checking for Shaq. I just did a video on my channel where I had to like look him up. Um, But he was just out with um, who Brittany Renner or something. Like who was he just out with? Like my boy bro, making his rounds. You're making your rounds. Like you need What's to up? stop. This is a innocent young lady who's just trying to make an honest <laughs> living. She has said publicly she don't want to do none of this OF stuff. She's just like, trying to sell Japanese toilets and grills. Dude. Leave her alone, bro. Damn. <sighs> I think it's the frame. Shaq putting himself in the center of a modern love story. And like all modern love stories, it started with this picture Did right here. Ask on her Instagram. permission. Magic selects Shaquille O'Neal from Louisiana State. She's in the back. Damn, bro. Why you snitch, bro? Damn, Talk bro. Y'all are not safe, back. bro. It's just bruh, random. <laughs> do you see? Like, this is crazy. Nah, it's Shaq, though. It's Shaq, it's Shaq, Shaq bro. Shaq. What if it was R. Kelly? Hmm? 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 That was Shaquille O'Neal, also known by They even gave him an apron. Diesel. This whole thing started when a Houston College student posted a picture from her job at Home Depot saying customers told her she's too pretty to work there. Well, Twitter blew up and that student eventually had to quit. But Shaq got in her DMs telling her to ignore the haters. Then he went to Home Depot to do some good. Oh, so he's saying, bruh. That. Look at <laughs> he's saying. You ain't too you ain't too good to, for Home Depot, girl. You could work at the depot. Come back to work, girl. Nah, I'll work at the depot. So, but and I'm here. Come on, pull up. Look, with love, babe. Whenever dudes come in with DMs talking about don't listen to the haters, boy bye. You trying to be Man, the one nah, nah, not hater. He just trying to be Shut nice. Shut your mouth. There ain't no haters, bro. Like everybody You know is Shaq being cash creepy. after a whole bunch of money, right? What'd you say? I bet I bet Shaq cashed after a whole bunch of money. Bruh. <laughs> Regardless so of if she wanted happened, it or not. So after this happened, everybody was online basically saying that she fumbled the bag with Shaq. Did and she? And they though? were like, oh, you keep messing up. Okay, you're not gonna do OFs, but dang, you're not gonna at least be a sugar baby to Shaq. Like, like whoever y'all said are Shaq wanted to be her sugar daddy. Life. Whoever like, said that? Nadja, whoever said that Shaq wanted to be her sugar bruh. daddy. I was just joking, but because you could theoretically, if you're a powerful person, especially, they don't ask much questions when you're trying to put Shaq money has into a niggas' accounts. Shaq has a pattern, but it's like, why are we projecting again? Like, why, why are we? This girl is not a Sims character. Like, this is a real person. Like, a real person man. that works at a heart. You should have just got a job at the Lowe's. See? Oh my gosh. Wow. Way more chill. This is they even her. let you smoke in there. And she's Look just about to wrap up her side of like what freaking happened. I'm never gonna go to work looking as good. Y'all probably again. know me as the Home Depot girl, the girl who went viral, and just talk about how God is really testing my life right now and just testing my faith and trying to keep my patience in him and just trust that there's a bigger thing coming out of all this. Since I blew up on the internet, I have had so much backlash, good and bad. Like, it's been a lot of good, but you know, you also have that percentage of bad. Like, everybody on Twitter hates me for what? I don't know. Like, I literally don't know. Just because I stood up for myself, and that's fine. Um, And then Instagram's really cool. And then, you know, other situations that have happened throughout this whole process that have just kind of been crazy. But... I literally had to kind of quit my job in this process because of how much I grew and how many people actually seen this. And people were illegally doxing my address and also figuring out where I worked because, you know, I did have my school in my bio, also my location on Twitter and Home Depot. So if you put math together, like people started figuring stuff out. 
So mm. now I'm gonna have to probably move and just you know kind of relocate. Bro, and that's start so bad fresh. that you can't even be. And you I know this is be. gonna sound shallow. You can't even be attractive and just be chilling. You can't even be and work at the Home Depot and post a picture because you might go viral or just never put your uh, surroundings on your social media. If uh, see see how crazy that sounds. <laughs> No, it really is. Just, just, just post a picture. Yeah, like I'm not this. blaming her either, but like y'all, go on it your phone settings crazy. right now and turn off the locations on your photos because when you post, that's a start. Yeah, that's a start. But we're, I'm not gonna sit here and act like when you get to that certain level of no. Uh, uh, no, but she didn't can't expect the blow. So I'm just saying, like everyday things that you do, whether you think you're gonna be popping or not, make sure your location is off of your photos. And yeah. when you, if you do use Facebook and all that shit, make sure you turn your location off of your posts too, because they yeah. definitely do. they would be like, this was taken at the town center. What? And like, you're like, what the fuck? I did not, uh, I want everyone to know that. You stop yeah. tweeting from that LG refrigerator at the there Home Depot. Go. The LG fridge. <laughs> and I just feel like I just am grateful to God because this opportunity gives me a chance to start over. I also gained a platform and that means a lot to me because I work really hard making, you know, my faith, lifestyle, beauty, and fashion content. So this kind of helps me go towards that direction. Oh, that's why you quit, nigga. There you like, go. Like Daniel said, why does she got to go straight to the OF? She said, I'm about to be making some yeah, content. Bro. There you go. She, my, my dog said, I be vlogging, bro. She said, I just want to show y'all how I do my, my uh, hair and shit scary because i actually haven't received like any type of brand deals or anything like that a lot of people think that like my net worth is going to flip now because of fame yeah, that's um that's not how it works yeah, no. it just kind of yeah it's unmotivating Hear me but out. i have faith that if she, God this video right here She could have got paid from this. Are y'all uh, kidding? I feel um, like, okay, yeah. I feel, I see what she's saying, and I agree. Mm. Think about what she's saying, babe. No, I. She did one thing. She. This is like a blip. If you're smart, you can you can ride this shit out for a little bit, dog. So remember you better how look at Alex. That nigga was on tour. I was tour. about to bring up Alex. So remember, <laughs> before TikTok, when you went viral, you actually went viral. Yeah, like there were did. people in India you went on Ellen. that knew who you were right. if, you went, if you had over a you million views. You went on views. Ellen DeGeneres. Right. That was the era of Alex from Target. Yeah. He was doing the uh, YouTube um, uh, VidCon and um, Warped Tour, all that type of kitty ass stuff that was popping at the time. Like now you go viral you better do something with it real quick. That's what I'm saying, you pin bro. Something to the top and you she need to go make. She talking about all this other. She need to make a Shaq diss track. ASAP. A Shaq diss track. Yeah. Unfortunately, her best bet. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Like. That's why. See, that's why people being, trying to tell her to go sell fans right now. No, I was gonna say her best Get your bet back, if she girl. wanted to keep that type of trajectory. Yeah. Um. I don't know. She could do like content about like getting new jobs or like job hunting. I don't know to like keep That'd it be on cool. brand. That'd be pretty cool. But it's like, how do you stretch that? And I'm glad she's not trying to stretch it. I'm glad she's like, look, I'm about to make my own content now that I got an audience. Honestly, like, Naja, if 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 you have even a good boost of a start, yeah, you don't really need to. It helps. That's what I'm saying, bro. She. Definitely, what I was saying, her net worth is about to change. That's bullshit. Right. You got me cussing now. But you don't just get money overnight. Yes, you do. Just from being. Yes, you do. All right, hear me out. How I'm much do literal. you think that she's We're, gonna make? Me and her are being literal. You think if she can, especially once she gets another job, jobby job, real quick, and now she has a platform where she can make money. That her, her she's not about to be living different. You have another stream of income now. I'm agreeing with you. We're talking about the time in which that happens. It happened overnight. Okay, we'll talk about this off the highlight because I think we're just having a miscommunication. As we do. This worked out in my favor. So yes, yeah, some doors had to close, but I also know God is going to make a lot of doors open in my favor. So I'm just taking it with the winds, taking the punches. 
you know, smiling through all this, praying, and just knowing that God has me. Just know in due time when the answers and what is for me needs to be revealed, it'll be revealed. I know God is going to make everything work out in my favor in the end. And <laughs> yes, going to bless girl. me, you know, so you much know, because I kept about, faith in him. I she was probably listening to Kirk Franklin on I her way to work that morning. And through all this, Came I... Up actually haven't caught any anxiety through any of this and i haven't been like oh my gosh what am i gonna do next because i just know like i feel in my heart you know when you know you're doing right you know god is going to bless you and i just kind of wanted to come on here and rant a little bit because i just haven't really had anybody to talk to you know so yeah so i just wanted to come on here as y'all probably know she said i don't want to talk to Shaq. well time to go uh write a book real quick <laughs> about what about Jesus, I don't know. Nadia. That's what I'm saying. Like Shit. they kind of just blew blew her up for like like. No damn this reason. This is the best thing she could do. Honestly, this is this is good. That's what I'm saying. Just keep posting videos. They get. This is good. But when she's when you're talking about her net worth ain't gonna change. I'll elaborate more in a second. But that should say 14k. That means she can hit them up and get get no, a little stump thumb. I know, thumb. babe. It's just okay. I'll I'll say it then. But since we're about to get off of it. You know, as much as I know, that when me and you started this mm -hmm. and when somebody saw that we had like a thousand views, they thought we had a thousand dollars. That's what she means. Like people hitting her on some, oh, you balling now. You about to woo do woo, woo And she's like, bro, I'm not about to be brand deal overnight. Like I'm not, I don't have a, a Gucci sponsor set up tomorrow morning that I need to fly out for. You get what I'm saying? Like, people have a different expectation of this social media stuff now. Like, it's not. Do you know what I'm saying? I get, that makes sense. I was just thinking about the, um, depending on how high the number goes, I guess, is the only thing that makes a difference. Because Shoot, it even takes 48 hours to get a freaking fund set up. Like, it takes, t like, you got to, I'm just being realistic here. Yeah, but by next month. If she can keep a certain trajectory, she's going to have some extra income that she didn't have. Mm -hmm. And if it gets compounded and if she's smart about it or if she's just a likable person, because a lot of some people just got it. But some people, the more you put them on camera, the more you're just like, dog, I hate this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just be like that sometimes. But hey, bro, ride that out. Right. Yeah. Ride it out. Right very interested to see if more comes of this or if that's just it but Shaq I this track Shaq get your life um and people that were on Twitter uh bashing this lady get your life as well because she lost her real life job and I know the same way she can't get a thousand dollars tomorrow she I know she can't break a lease and move tomorrow like her address is out there like she can get a thousand dollars by like next month though yeah, I'm just saying, like, her real life got affected. It's crazy. That delayed gratification. Very true. But it only true. takes a month, bro, on TikTok. It only takes a month. <laughs> Put your Very PayPal true. on there. You'll be yep. good. 